All right, so this has been sitting in the garage collecting dust because I haven't been riding it. I've just been uh, thinking about riding it because I wanted to do PPF before I take it out to ride. So uh, what we're gonna try to do here today is do InvisiFrame, uh, which is essentially uh, templated Expel. I ordered it from the UK. I don't know the company, uh, so they'll probably know that, know me after, do, after fumbling through this, making a video of it. Uh, but this is a uh, Yeti SB100 with um, full SRAM XX1, Eagle X01, or uh, AXS. Uh, so a uh, pretty legit bike. I bought a Park Tool PRS 3.2, which is the, you know, the professional stand that we were using to assemble the bike. And so what the InvisiFrame does is template it out to put satin PPF all over this thing. So we're gonna open this up and I convinced uh, Martin, my buddy who uh, tints all the windows on my cars to help me do this. Now he doesn't do it PPF, but he's certainly gonna do better than I can. So I convinced him to do that. And so uh, what we're gonna do is prep the frame. I'm gonna make sure all the stickers are off, debadge this thing, and then try to put some, uh, some PPF on it and hope that it comes out reasonably well because this bike is legit. I'm not legit. One of my goals was to have the nicest bike and be the worst rider. I think that mission's accomplished. So there's only a couple of stickers on this thing. I wish I could take the logo off, but there's the stickers right here for the Fox 34. I'm just gonna pull these off real quick before we start prepping the frame, but we're gonna wipe it down with an eraser, and then we'll use baby, baby shampoo as a slip solution and uh, figure out if we can do this. So if you're a cyclist and you're watching this cringing, this is not really my thing more of a, I would call this, I'm not a big fan of using that word, the word hobby, because I'm not much of a hobbyist. I generally become obsessed with things, but I would say on this bike, I'm hobbyist level, which is okay. I'm just enjoying it. And yeah, I live in central Florida, but we do have a pretty legit trail system. Well, it's more trail riding than mountain biking. It's called the Santos, Santos Trailhead. I think it's a few hundred miles, and it's a pretty serious set of trails. Yeah, let me get all these stickers off. Anytime there's a sticker, even on my GT3 RS, I want the sticker off. But those of you watching this bike video that aren't, that don't watch my car videos, I'm probably gonna be sneaking in a giant sticker on the side of my GT3 RS because I think it, I hate to say it, but I think it looks better with it and without it. Even after I made Adam LZ take his off. All right, so we got that. So let me unbox this thing here. I'll keep taking the stickers so Martin can see what we're dealing with here. All right, so check this thing out. So it's one sheet that they templated, or what do you call it, plotted? Yeah, so if, if it's been pre-cut, what they did is they cut out the patterns for the bike, so you'll be able to see, similar to what the patterns were on the, the, tent, the yeah. side windows on the tent, yeah. only it cuts through the PPF instead, so you Check can see it. the patterns. Yeah, there's directions, but... I kind of read through them. We won't need that. You got better tools than that. <laughs> so, it says to start on the chain stay first. So we're gonna start on these, okay. these pieces first. But I need to get the rest of the stickers off, get it wiped down. So here's what each piece is. Uh -huh. So they send us a layout of what everything is. keep de-stickering this thing. I don't know if we have to take the wheels off or not, but. Yeah, I'm glad that you're here. This is gonna help. And by help, I mean get it done. Because otherwise, 
I was gonna keep procrastinating, keep riding my crappy old bike, or just not riding at all. My buddies that I ride with call me out on that one. I haven't shown up in a darn near a month. Been screwing around with Corvettes all this time. Does it say on that thing, is there a PPF for the fork? Mm. Is it just the frame? It'll say fork. I don't see anything for the fork. So I don't, yeah, I don't, it would make sense that they wouldn't. So this bike has exposed carbon, which I didn't know. I mean, it's cool. But the satin, the satin, so I chose satin X Bell is actually going to look a little better, I think, because it'll hide some of the imperfections of the exposed carbon. Oh, that's why. Dang, these stickers are on here for sure. Oh, they already weeded it out. Sweet. So what do you think? We, first we prep, right? Prep it with some alcohol. Yep. And then we put well, the slip have, solution on. I still have my canister in here, which has got the baby shampoo in it from when yeah. I just did your windshield on the RS. So. And then we can float it into position and then squeeze it out, right? Correct. It'd be easy. Yeah, in theory. It's only a bike. Right. It's only a really, really expensive, precious bike. Oh man, there's stickers all over this. So I guess if we're not doing the fork, I can do this later. So they suggest in the manual to start on the chain stay. And I'm about to pull this sticker off the back that you're not supposed to, but I can always, can always Google it. Stickers all over this fork. They're really good stickers. I want these stickers for my bottles. These things are amazing. All right, I'm gonna stop screwing around and do this later. Let me get some eraser. Get this thing cleaned. So we're gonna start on the back area here. I guess I should clean the whole thing since I'm gonna overspray it. This is a IPA alcohol-based solution. I'm gonna use a towel, red towel, this will be good. So I wanna get it prepped. We'll probably, we'll see if it makes sense to put the bike up even higher. I'm gonna have to take this off. So it might make sense to put the put this on the lift so we can get it up even higher so we don't have to bend over. The other thing I'm wondering is this is a kit for a 2018 and this is a 2019, so hopefully it fits. We can always trim it. I did bring carbon blades for that. Take off my bottle cage. Cage is off. I think we're gonna have to take the wheels off. Which, the front wheel is easy. The back wheel, not, not quite as easy. Feel that. Oh wow. <laughs> Tubeless, carbon, awesomeness. Okay. So this is a... I figured that would be light, but that weighed about half what I thought yeah, it wasn't going to weigh. It's no joke. That must be a five. I wasn't paying attention when he put this together. It says Titan. See here. There we go. 
It's never a good time when you hear a pop on carbon fiber. Ever. Just like so. Yeah, that'll make it a lot easier on us. So let's get a little better clean up here. Chain has to stay on it. So let's do this. Lift the chain off. We'll set it there, okay. You're supposed to do this before you build it. So let's start on this piece here. I don't know how it's gonna be seamed, put together. So should we cut that out? Well, they've already weeded this out. So it's just gonna be pull and stick. Okay. Cause you can see that, I think you can feel the rays right there. Yeah. Let me, uh... Which means they've already weeded it out. So, which piece is that? So, top tube, down tube, left. So, we're going to do the left chain stay. So, which top tube, down piece. tube, left chain stay. Right. So, the way I've got it, the so, way you're looking at this right here uh -huh. is the same way that this is. So, yeah, it's perfect. So, should we do we cut this off or you just pull no, it no, off? So, you can feel it right there? You're just going to lift it. Exactly. Okay. All right. Um, so, now we have it prepped. So, so, now I'm wondering so, which piece is the left chain stay? That's this here, and what, so that's this piece right here. And, and that's then, where I'm wondering, because it's and just... And where's the right stay, chain stay? Right, seat stay, seat stay, mm. chain stay, bridge, underside, yeah. See, because this, this has a protector on it already, mm -hmm. so we're only gonna be doing like little sections, little pieces of that, so yeah. Where I'm wondering is just how this is going to hit that triangle is where I'm yeah yeah same here how does that go but, um so that's round I'm almost thinking we should like should where we? the top tube which is the the head tube end of the top tube would that be the piece that's so, I apologize I had no yeah, nothing I, about bikes <laughs> I don't either so we're doing this so the top tube is this piece here okay let's start with that okay I like that Okay, so I got that all clean and prepped, I think. So it's gonna be interesting here. See, when you look at, when you look closely at it, you can see some of the weave. So we're hoping to, I'm hoping to cover that up. All right, so we got a slip solution, it's baby solution. We're gonna give it a whirl. It's only like 80 bucks, so if we screw up this whole thing, whatever. Well, that makes me feel less bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So Martin does my windows, not, not PPF, but he's certainly gonna do better than I am. So we're gonna do it together. So I'm taking the blame for this one. Heck yeah, it's gonna be sick. All right, so looks like it goes that way, huh? Yep, definitely. Oh, you got this, bro. So you work out the slip solution. So this is a satin film. <laughs> and then I'm gonna coat this thing too. Of course you are. <laughs> Just ride it, loser. I don't ride dirty, I ride clean. I have a feeling this is gonna turn into me watching. <laughs> isn't this all, isn't this what we need this little thing no it's a felt edge yeah. in theory yes I'll probably end up using it 
Um, but you can also use these turbo squeegees like what I'm using. Yeah. Glides along the film, pushes everything out. For window tint, I just use them for cleaning, but I've been told they work good for PPF, so I figured I'd try it. Uh-oh, yeah, see our frame is a little different. It, I guess it'll curve around that, right? Well, we could all, I was trying to line it up right there. Yep, that's if it. If you want, I can slide it back a little bit, and then this would line up a little better down here, but you'd see a gap right there, and I was trying to. Well, this will carry that, won't it? This will still carry that. Mm -hmm. You just will see. Yeah. That looks good. I was just trying to get it as yep. close to where you would see it from where you would ride it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, this, wow, this makes the bike look even better. It makes it, it get, because you can't see through. Yeah, the stealth. You can't, you can't see as much of the, um, the, the screwy looking carbon weave. Well, I've only seen stealth like this on a car, but it was on a, it was actually on the Silver Urus that I tinted, and it was a full stealth wrap, and it looked so sick when it came out. I'm gonna have no excuse. I'm gonna have to start riding this thing. I've kind of admired it just chilling, you know, seeing it, looking at it in the garage. Just looking at it sitting there. It looks beautiful. That was a good call doing the top tube first. I guess they were talking about doing the top tube last because that's the most you see, but it's clearly the easiest part on the whole thing to do. I was more just trying to get my bearings on what piece goes where and how it fits. Yeah. People are going to be like, how'd you convince them to do that? <laughs> You're such a terrible person. Because <laughs> I won't expel to send me to PPF school. <laughs> there you go. How much is PPF school? Is that a lot of money? Uh, I haven't looked into it just because of it. my clients that have asked me about it, none of them have a garage clean enough to where you could do PPF yeah. to the way it should be done. Yeah. And if I can't do it to the way it should be done, I'm not going to offer it. Yeah. And I haven't figured out a way to do it mobile and I can't tent at my house or work at my house because my homeowners association would freak so understood for that reason i haven't gotten deep into it but it's something that eventually i will be doing in my business mm -hmm. yeah it's got to be that way huh just like that up into there yep That's when you know that uh, bike people aren't car people. This is all about function, not necessarily form. Because that's the opposite of the way I'd have done it. Yeah. I'd have done it without the spine right there. Just... Right, but their argument, none of this is going to get hit. It's only, but yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a fair point. I would have seamed it right down the middle of the bottom where you don't see it. But then, like you said, that's the side that's going to take the abuse, which as someone who doesn't bike, I would not have thought of. This is gonna launch a PPF career, bro. <laughs> Expel. That would hook, be nice. Hook a brother up. Yeah. Free school. <laughs> get my boy set up here so I can get PPF done at my house. <laughs> yeah, this bike is, uh, this is like the GT3 RS of bikes. For some reason, I'm not shocked. It's pretty much the same, uh, same skill set. Just like a, my about the same skill set riding a bike as I do driving a car. <laughs> I have the audacity to say, you know what? I get what I want. <laughs> hey, by all means. Kind of stinks. I was hoping it would cover that the exposed carbon spine there. If I had to guess, this is where I would imagine a shop that had PPF would be like, oh, okay, we'll just do a custom piece, but yeah. I don't know how to do that. Plus, I don't have Man, any. I thought the tenors were going to eat me alive on some of your other videos. I'm sure the PPF guys are going to be like, what no, 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 no. is this guy doing? Screw him. <laughs> I mean, this is a DIY kit. 
I feel less bad then. I'm just getting professional grade here on my DIY because, because I can. But I mean, it's the same concept, right? I mean. It is. Right? It's, We're just. I'm not sure I would attempt this if it was something push, that wasn't this clean. Pushing water out. Getting the adhesive to stick. Yeah, and the adhesive is different. PPF to window. I know it's different, but I don't know how it's different. I, yeah. you know, and if somebody watched any of the videos where I'm tinting, I talk a whole lot more when I'm in my lane. And right now I am not, so I'm being very quiet. And anybody that actually knows me will tell you that's very rare. Dude, that looks awesome. This is great. I've been, I've been thinking about this for weeks. Like, I don't know when I'm gonna get this done. I'm never gonna be able to do it right. I'm gonna just throw it away. And instead, we're gonna get it done right. So, you know, all it took was you buying a Corvette and then someone soliciting themselves to you for tent. Yeah. See, the Corvette did something positive for you. <laughs> this is great. Get you another plug here. People are gonna be calling you crazy for PPF now. Yeah. All right, so, what's it gonna cost me to have you come do this whole thing? <laughs> Put it on your schedule. <laughs> asked by the guy, that, asked to the man that doesn't do PPF, no idea how to price it. <laughs> I feel like it shouldn't be a whole lot just because I, I don't do it, and I didn't pay for the material, but... All right, well, just well, charge me I'll something. Figure, yeah. figure out what it's worth to you, and, I want, and when I come back, uh, it'll be done. <sighs> or whenever you can schedule, whenever you can... Oh, I can, I can work it in this week. Because I'm realizing that, that I'm going to screw this up. <laughs> yeah, I think the way to do it on this, if someone else is, you know, you're trying to DIY this, you just cut the piece out before you pull it off, hold it up, and then you can figure out where the heck they intended it to go. I have to make a phone call and find out what's the slip solution for PPF because it seems like it's, a, a, it's definitely it's baby well, yeah, solution, but, it, but what's the what's the dilution exactly? Because it does oh, it seem actually like says in here it's um <laughs> it's five mLs per liter. What do you normally do? Uh, well, for tint, I like a pretty heavy slip. So I use, personally, I use uh, about 13 ounces for every four gallons. So I'm using roughly three ounces a gallon. But because I tint a lot where I'm in very hot, humid climates where it's not temperature controlled like this, yeah. You need a little more slip so the uh, window tint adhesive doesn't tack up too fast. Yeah, you can tell that this is. Yeah, like the, I probably need less slip in here, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the more you use, the more time you got where it won't lock down on you. The other thing I see guys do a lot is they're always licking their fingers if they're ever gonna reach around an edge. I guess because it'll leave fingerprints if you grab or it. uh contamination oh, yeah, yeah. like it, it's so you know especially when you're working with like a window tint or yeah. ppf where you can see through it mm -hmm. you know that's where you know tintins it's got to be perfect the first time because mm -hmm. you can't you can't really lift it back off now ppf you can lift off you got a little more grace with it but you know usually i'll spray off my hands with so, yeah, I'll uh, somehow, have every cyclist in Central Florida be like, hey, do my bike. <laughs> it's probably not a bad gig to get into. Well, there's, got, a bunch over, got, there's a bunch over by my, where, where I live. If you got quick at this, and if you got this licked and you had the plot for it, yeah. shoot, even if you bought the kits from the company, I wonder if Xpel owns the owns the uh, templates for them. I don't know. Alrighty, that piece. 
that piece is done. There you go. Sick. All right, so that's the process. Uh, I think uh, we're out of time here today, so um, I'm gonna convince Martin to come back and do this. So I don't know that I'll get any more footage. I guess I'll hold on to this memory card and then I'll, I'll uh, finish it, show you the finished product when we're done and maybe do a first ride video. Maybe I should do that.